What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I'm really excited to show you this deck. There's going to be a lot of cool combos. First of all, we're calling this the Package Package deck. It's Guardian Package, which is typically a bunch of one-drops, including the Forget-Me-Nuts. Uh, and then you run Triceratops, which is a card that can grow a lot. And you run a card that synergizes with both of those. Uh, Photosynthesizer, really powerful because it makes your card survive by giving them extra health. Also, um, draws you a card, so but it doesn't even cost you a card. Playing this on a Forget-Me-Nuts can be really annoying to opponents because, you know, the only weakness of Forget-Me-Nuts is the fact that it has such low health. Giving this such extra health at such little cost uh, can really, really drive opponents nuts. Also, the uh, fact it's conjuring a card is going to proc the ability of the Triceratops, making it grow even more. Typically, you're going to be playing a one-drop on turn one, play your Triceratops, try to play that on turn two, and then make some kind of combo. I'm not running any threes, but you have plenty of cards to play. A second Triceratops, you can play uh, Haunted Pumpkin and the, any of your one-drops, plus you're able to play Photosynthesize. You're typically going to be playing this on turn three. Uh, so we're combining Guardian Package with Ramp Package. We're running four copies of Primal Sunflower, which is a fine one-drop in itself. It gets you to that turn three play a little bit faster, so I'm really expecting like Primal Sunflower on one, and then a couple one-drops or just a Triceratops on turn two, and then you'll also be able to play that turn Photosynthesizer to uh, protect your Primal Sunflower, and actually and then on turn three be able to ramp again. Uh, that's a really cool combo. The other thing I'm really looking forward to is Forget-Me-Nuts on one, and Twin Sunflower on two. Twin Sunflower on two is a very high-risk, high-reward uh, play. If they play a minion, Twin Sunflower ends up being amazing because you're gaining two sun the next turn. On turn three, they're going to have three brains. You're going to be playing uh, a really strong card running. Plenty of good five drops. The Allosaurus is just a huge stat card that can heal your other cards. Uh, and Astrocado is just a beast. Also, it gives you that pit so when this dies, they have to play around the pit for the rest of the game. The only way really to counter Twin Sunflower is tricks. And if you're playing your uh, forget me nuts then their tricks are not going to be efficient like if they have a bungee and a rolling stone on turn two then i guess they can use that on the twin sunflower but if they're going for a beam me up they're going for some kind of teleport it really just eliminates a lot of the things that they can do to answer twin sunflower you can also just stick twin sunflower behind the forget me nuts uh, in case they have like summoning if it's uh or bats if it's brainstorm and neptuna uh, we're able to summon a minion so you're able to stick that behind that's a really good play uh, so turn four, I decided to split it up. Instead of running four blockbusters like we do in Guardian Package, running two blockbusters and then two overall very powerful cards, Elderberry. Uh, you, you know, the cards are going to be evolving Elderberry. I'm not running any Little Buddies or uh, Colonel Pulse in this deck. I'm going to keep an eye on that, though, because it could be we do need a little card since we have a bunch of cards that evolve. So I'm running, again, Elderberries. It's really nice to be able to get a good blockbuster, too. Uh, even playing this, though, as a four-cost 3-3 three, three Bullseye is very good if you have your Triceratops. Uh, in your early game developed. Even just Haunted Pumpkin, such a powerful card, being able to protect this on turn two or three uh, with a Photosynthesizer makes it ridiculous. Because again, it's so overstatted card, but its only weakness <laughs> is that it dies to things that do two damage. Uh, no longer when you have Photosynthesizer. So, decided to run eight copies of five drops just to ensure that if you play your Twin Sunflower, very high risk card on turn two, that it's gonna be, you're going to be able to capitalize on it. Uh, by really playing uh, uh, an efficient play, which is in the Allosaurus or the Astrocado. Uh, and again, instead of running four Cop Cannons, which is the better card than three to Chomper in general, um, I just wanted some diversity. Again, we're not running a whole lot of little cards. The only cards that Cop Cannon's main ability, which is Destroy a Zombie, um, can be activated as Twin Sunflower, and you also have the Walnut from Nut Signal. We're going to, again, keep an eye if that's going to be okay. But again, I'm just running two of them. Uh, arguably, in this deck, 3 to Chomper is going to be a better play. It's a really good way to follow up um, from your turn 5 plays, especially if your Twin Sunflower lives for a second turn. Uh, the really cool thing about this deck is the fact that, first of all, there's two ways of winning. You can just tempo it, or you can ramp and then get, early, get your late game going. Um, and it's really cool that in a Guardian package, if somehow they are able to deal with the early game onslaught of your really powerful early game, uh, you have all these liking cards to come in and finish the game at not really much of a liability to the early game plenty running. We should have really good starting hands. Hopefully they don't get bricked too much with this late game, but the starting hands should be really, really good. Uh, Uncrackable, I guess, will proc your Dino Roars. You also have, you know, obviously Dino Roar and Allosaurus. Uh, I think this deck is going to be great. Let's see how the deck goes. Hope you guys enjoy. Even like bubble in your starting hand, you play one drop, you bubble that one drop and play another one on turn two. There's just so many things this deck can do. 
Uh, let's see if it all comes together again. I am going to keep an eye and see if I really didn't want to run too many Colonel Pulse and Lil Buddies. That makes the late game a lot worse. You're going to have to take out late game cards. I just really wanted the consistency. So we'll see if it goes. We're going to definitely mulligan for some early game. Going to look for a two drop. Okay, this is fine. I really like Primal Sunflower into Photosynthesizer. Looking forward to that. I'm going to play this on Heights. It's a card that you would like to get Alley News, and we do not like to get Acid Rains. Really like the smooth. I don't know if you notice the gameplay is a little smoother. I switched over to Blue Stacks. Uh, let's do bets, though. Do you think this deck will go 8 and 2 vote yes? 7 and 3 or fewer vote no? Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash Frima. So we could. Oh, we have both. Never mind. I was thinking, oh, well, we could play Triceratops or we could. We could do both. This is exactly what we've come here to do today, guys. This is amazing. I'm going to hold middle lane for Blockbuster, I think. Well, no, I'd actually like to Blockbuster on this next turn. And I'm going to photosynthesize this so it lives. Usually, again, unless it's rats, it's not going to be able to kill the uh, the Primal Sunflower. So we're going to get four brains. If We're going to get four sun ramping again. Also got a uh, not bad fog. Useful card. Thank you guys for all your positive comments. Thank you, Serial Killer. You guys don't even know how much it means to me in the fact we have such a positive community here. Look at the plays, guys! This has got to be it, right? We actually could go Bog plus Twin Sunflower instead of Blockbuster. This is only turn three. The Blockbuster really just gets better later, right? Is the 2-1 with one ramp better than a 2-2 here with no attack? I might actually... Well, we can also heal. There's so many plays here, man. Sheesh! I think the heal will be a little better later. I'm actually going to stick this in front and play Bog here. This also plays around Smelly Zombie really well. Yes! Yeah! Oh my gosh. This deck has just taken off. This is exactly how we want these games to go, man. Oh! Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. I like how the heal is going to bring this up to 2-3 again. This is definitely the better card than Twin Sunflower here. We're actually able to develop Astrocado, and we're also able to... Oh, we can play Elderberry. There's so many things we can do here. I think because of the Pogo, I'm going to take this now. This should be fine. This really screws him if it's a Pogo. Probably the last thing you can do to deal with the Tricara Trapper. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, that actually would have. That, that's actually better than Pogo. Oh my gosh, this deck is. Not, <laughs> this deck is popping off. Absolutely popping. I guess it's just Astrocado here. He's doing some cat lady stuff. Who even knows what he's doing? Okay. And well, oh well. I'm gonna play a try uh, the Astrocado here. There's no really point in developing Elderberry. It's around the same as. I guess, I guess we could play around like Nibble and stuff by doing this combo. I don't really need these cards. I'm basically always going to upgrade this from the from the Primal Sunflower. Even a Haunted Pumpkin or Forget Me Nots is more valuable than this. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to evolve this turn. Again, we're playing around Nibble by putting a uh, a card that you know that doesn't die to Nibble here, basically, or Lunchbox. Breeze, okay. Sheesh. So this will go up to six. We're blocking the nine, which is awesome. And this geyser right now is an incredible play. It is so much value. Look how much heals we're gonna get. I will keep that. Grow the triceratops, why not? This goes back down to zero. <laughs> I think this grow right, this does start at three, the first petty plays. There's another pet. But Geyser actually brings the Triceratops now up to 7 health. Which is ridiculous. And he doesn't have any cards, so we're definitely playing this and Geyser. Huge. Makes the Blockbuster live. Oh no, Blockbuster dies to the cat. Oh well. But it makes the, um... It makes the Elderberry live, which is huge. And he doesn't have a board anymore. He does, he's in a top deck situation. We definitely got this game. We got cards. What a geyser. 
That was one of the best geysers probably I've ever played. It's so much value. This is a really cool shout out to oh man, I didn't write the name of the person down who gave me this idea, and I feel bad because this was great. Someone showed me yeah, this deck list is a lot different, but someone at the end of the stream, people show me their decks using the prize that we're betting. Actually, we can use that to show show decks, and someone showed me an idea. It basically was Guardian Package with with um with some kind of ramp in it. With, it, it, with like yeah, different like Twin Sunflower, maybe a different ramp card too. But that definitely gave me the idea, so shout out to whoever, um, whoever gave me that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, I mean, the, the game couldn't have gone. That, I think that game just showcased the entire deck, like the entire everything we're trying to do here. We didn't get a Twin Sunflower early, maybe we'll get a... <laughs> get that. I wonder if I should keep the, the six here. We can go one. This is so good against Super Brains, too. I think I'm gonna go one, two, and then play this on three and play go for the um the chopper on four. Since anyway we have a really powerful two two cause card in Triceratops. We'll we'll draw into something else to combine with this. Probably. Even just bubble is fine. Uh so in this matchup you want Triceratops to be on heights. <laughs> Because the only difference, real difference between heights and ground practically with super brains is laser base alpha, and you don't want your triceratops dying to that. Um, you know, there's moonwalkers and chimney sweeps. It's not really gonna make a difference though, by the time this is developed. Playing this on heights would make it die to teleport chimney sweep. Boo freaking who. I, I love it when game one just like showcases the whole thing, the whole deck, just perfect, absolute perfect. Yeah, man, Super Brain's really weak against aggro decks, though, and that just, I mean, he can dead, if he spends a deadly against this deck to kill a 4-1, that's what we want to see. Oh, that's so bad, he's just desperately trying to cling to something here. Uh, using Bubble on the Haunted Pumpkin should be really, really good here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> didn't have... The man did not have answers to the incredible aggression of Guardian Package with Haunted Pumpkin. I wonder if this is going to end up being the best Guardian Package deck, even better than Countertron. The Grass Knuckles, you know, the really, in a way, the Grass Knuckles one feels stronger because of the power with the plant foods and, and the Gatling fees, but... Um, this, this with the late game and Haunted Pumpkin early, man. This, this deck is like an absolute beast. Yes! We have the combo again! Primal on one, Triceratops Photo on two. What are you so- Oh my god! This is, imagine playing a two- Oh, that's so huge. This obviously goes in height, same thing as last time. Don't want it to die to Acid Rain, don't want this to die to Alien News. This is this is godlike. This is absolute. Oh, okay, okay. Wow, should I go for this instead? There's Cyborg. We can actually trade well against Cyborg here, which is ridiculous. I wonder if I want to just go for the ramp play now. So the play would be Twin Sunflower. We're gonna make four next turn, and also heal. I think this is fine. I don't well. It's a pretty safe ramp play, man. <laughs> we don't really have anything to do on turn four. We probably will draw into it. Actually, really considering playing the 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 twin well, it would be twin sunflower and then photosynthesize the twin sunflower right here. All right, I'm gonna go with what seems like the safer play. It's gonna be like this. We're gonna be able to heal this next turn for starters. I mean, it's safe. How good is getting a tur guaranteed turn three Allosaurus, man? I love how we just had two insanely good plays there. And that cyborg usually is the answer to Triceratops in this deck. <laughs> Looks like it's the other way around. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. So now let's see what's up. You might remove this. 
I'm just gonna go with Triceratops. And I'm gonna play Twin Sunflower here. There's no need if he, you know, the cheese cutter is a two for one if he has like a nibble or something. These Triceratops are out of, are, are they're out of control. It's out of control. He's smoke bombing it here, okay? No! He's going for the ramp. That's interesting. But I actually don't even need this ramp anymore. I think this is better. We proc the block. And we're getting to five anyway. It looks like the Primal Sunflower, not only being the tempo card, but being the ramp card, getting our late game out. You know, Primal really doesn't ramp to the late game, typically. It's usually just getting you to a tempo play with Triceratops. But now, if it survives for two turns, all of a sudden you're playing your late game cards a turn early. How does Brain Freeze deal with this on turn four? Look at this board, guys! <laughs> this is not fair! This is not fair. It's not fair. This is a low fair. Okay, great. <laughs> that's, a, that's actually a pretty good answer. He also gets that card draw, which is nice. But that, that I mean, that's all he's got. And we're just piling on. Look at the bullseye damage, guys. Holy crap. Honestly, too slow. Since we're just growing, too. I mean, he, you know, it was a one-for-one one trade, but we gained all of this, and we gained ramp another turn. Not gonna spend it, but... If he puts his, uh, his big Borg here, though, we just use Geyser, and it solves the, the trade problem. Honestly, that smoke bomb wasn't great. He traded smoke bomb for twin sunflower and we got the same play. <sighs> Why is everyone saying chickening? So this is interesting. Um, if this is a Yeti, then playing Geyser here is good. So that It's Kanga. Very interesting. He'll probably go after the two one. But again, we really don't need that Primal Sunflower anymore, and that's fine. He has Freeze... Freeze? And that's... okay. We actually have the, uh... Empirement to cover that, so... Hell yeah. There's that supernova guard, sheesh. Wow. So now what? This kills both of these. Unbelievable. Well, nah, there's an answer. <laughs> there's an answer. Uh, is this worth it though? So this Triceratops doesn't die, and then these will even trade. It's gotta be worth it. I don't know if you guys see, there's one way to play around this here. He already uses freeze power, the very little could go wrong. It's gonna be like this. This is a, a, a lot of resources, but it kills a Supernova Garg and then keeps two Triceratops alive. So this has to be correct. Imagine having an answer to this play. Woo! Sheesh! And then it gets up to eight. He probably doesn't have anything. Yes! So it's also five damage, hefty. Now it means this dies. The, um, you know, we weren't able to answer the, uh, the Allosaurus, but it's okay. We, we Triceratops. Are out of control right now. People really like the inscription series. I'm really glad you liked. So we probably hmm. we're gonna play these two. The question is where. Uh, I wonder if the haunted pumpkin can even trade in this lane. It's probably just another Kanga. It's a three-cost card. Maybe it'll work. Whatever this is dies when we play the environment next turn. So let's let's do it like this. And uh, this is almost always gonna win because really, by the time these three sun, three brains are used up on the gravestone, he doesn't have a way of dealing with the four-six bullseye. So it's guaranteed. Hell yeah, guys! This deck is crazy <laughs> this deck is absolute no 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 this is not this is legit absolute legit oh my gosh another super brains easy dubs 
Easy W. Um, I think just the luxury of being able to keep a blockbuster here since we have two good early game cards. But really, like, I think the best tempo card for us, Bubble is fine, and then Walnut is really good too. Walnut might be better. This isn't really much of a tempo card. So we'll do the same thing. Pumpkin goes on the ground. Carrot goes on heights. Playing around laser. Again, our removal, our removal is the is the cop cannons and the three to chompers. I don't. Yeah, if we haven't really. I guess that supernova garg was you know having a sham rocket for that maybe would have been good. Anyway. Um. I'm probably gonna end up just using Blockbuster on turn four. Let's see what happens. This photo. What a photosynthesizer for real. So it's gonna be. This will go here. I think because of the three headed chomper coming up. I've just tried this Blockbuster is is really um, awkward because it's not really gonna want to cover anything right now. I probably photosynthesize this since it's taking damage. These anyway get a health buff. I think because of the the, the, the three-headed chomper, I'm, I'm gonna play this here and leave the middle lanes. Leave the little the middle lanes by himself. How does he? Why does it say four brains though? He didn't use cryo brain last turn, did he? Oh, he must use cryo brain. I was just spacing out. So he draws a card, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We're doing five more bullseye. He'll be down to six and a half a block meter on his first cycle. Uh, nice, uh, Galacta. Should be good. I love if he just plays a single card in the graveyard again, and then we just block bust it and we, we'll get full bullseye lethal next turn. Alright, 4-0. <laughs> he quit. He quit. Imagine being able to handle this deck. Use Cryo Brain, thanks. So I was spacing out. Damn. This the blue stacks feel so smooth. You know, I, I I used blue stacks like five years ago to stream, and I switched over to side sync, which is actually going from my phone. Uh, because blue stacks used to disconnect a lot, but blue stacks looks really good. I turned on like hardware acceleration, which seems to make it work better. Um, you gotta do that in your BIOS. No, they they give you tutorial how to do it basically. Man, it's so good. I'm gonna get rid of blockbuster against Morticia. It's not a great card. Um, it's probably one, two. I mean, we could go one. Hmm. I wonder if I'll actually get ditch, ditch the primal here. It's fate. Definitely keep forget me nuts against some more tissue though. Huh. So there's paparazzi. I think this will just take out using the primal. You know, I, I really could, like, Primal Dry. It's so greedy. Uh, you know, if I, forget me nuts plus photo on two is fine. I don't think it's too greedy. What's your gaming PC? It's kind of put it together. It's custom. Custom. It's cheaper when you do it that way. So this will go on heights. Gotta play around Beam Me Up and Friends. And we'll, and we'll protect. messing around in your bios on your PC? I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, Laz. And huge shout out to Lazarus, who's helped me upgrade a lot of things with my uh, PC lately. Just no nuts or berries and we'll be fine. Oh my gosh, that is huge. This is, this is a, this is, that's a lot. That's a lot of... That's a problem. Ramping with twin could be really good here. Let's go. Ugh. So this this is probably a decent turn with super. Um, being able to play twin sunflower here and then having three at a chomper should be fine. Banana launcher is also a good develop here, but the, the ramp is better. So I'm gonna use this now. It's a card. 
And here we go. It's possible that this should have actually been in lane 4. Because it means the 3 headed chomp or... You know, something will hit face instead of... Of doing damage to us. Doesn't really matter. Kinda hope he just plays that goat again. They'll make this turn really... Easy. So what is that gonna be? Likely a loudmouth. It's obviously not Pogo or anything like that, so let's play, uh... We'll tank the 8 damage and then, you know, be really good to go with the 3 headed chomper here. Again, I know there's really no way for Morticia to deal with that, so... It's a lot of damage. We have Geyser in here somewhere, and we also just have a, three -headed, a protected 3 headed chomper on the field. And still ramping. <laughs> It's so good. It's such a good thing. So this would be a fine turn to um to, to use the blockbuster. Blockbuster plus I mean it's probably just another one of these. Then we can go pumpkin and then develop Probably just banana launcher. I like it. It's a blockbuster. That was a trick or treater, very cool. I wonder if not developing banana launcher is better. I think he has to chump lock this lane. So playing this into teleportation zombie is not bad. The banana will just kill the teleportation zombie next turn, so. You don't really need to forget the nuts. Oh, that rolled a 1. Uh, the cool thing is that since this bullseye card is in front, we actually did do the 3 damage there, and they only blocked the 6. Just a little game mechanic. He goes bats to, to the face, because he feels like his only chance is rushing us. Bruh. We knew Blockbuster would be a good play against Immortitia. Immortitia! Fronting a fronting blockbuster with a gravestone. Bruh. Here's that. Just trying to think, would it be worth it to banana bomb this? I mean, the the Astrocado is always being played here. Ain't no doubt about that. Is there a reason to go face for four damage here? Or should I just kill teleportation zombie? It's not gonna teleport in another minion. Probably not. Is there a point in doing this? He's shown us bad, so he doesn't have evaporate. Maybe we just hold the banana bomb. <laughs> Since it doesn't do anything. It doesn't actually yeah, let's hold the banana bomb. Okay, he's able to actually play something. But honestly, teleporting in a minion in lane four doesn't do anything, so it's gotta be a trick. That's gotta be, I don't even know what 3-drop would, would answer here. Nothing. 5-0, got him Morticia. Thank you to the new people coming in with the positive comments. I'm Dalit coming into the stream. So look at this play. We'll get rid of Blockbuster. We'd really like a photosynthesizer here. Oh gosh. I'm gonna keep one against Brainstorm specifically, just keep the one pumpkin. Gotta keep Triceratops. So turn one pass. The pumpkin kind of dies to uh summoning. This dies to um to backup dancers. But summoning and Bungie will take this. I think I'm going to develop the Pumpkin a little bit later. Uh, if this doesn't die and he just Eurekas, it is going to be a very good thing. Play on Heights, play on Trapper, why not? We can go two. We can also develop the Walnut. Should have leaped the Goat and went for um, Pogo. Yep, true. Wow, so we get ramped. Love it. Really glad he didn't. Primal Sunflower, man. Look at this beast of a card. 
Triceratops, and uh, it's so funny, we're not even gonna develop the pumpkins yet. So could just go with both of these to face. I think this is still better. We'll do that later. The three pumpkins. No. La 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 la. We're just ramping. We're, we're just ramping this game. It's how it's going down. I'm probably gonna elderberry the nut here. There's another Triceratops. I'll to bury the nut means fruit well. I can also elderberry the primal sunflower. Do we are we ever gonna be able to spend more than four su four four sun next turn? Probably not. So I should probably elderberry this one. I think uh it's a little bit weird, but the fact this has all this health is really good. And then he doesn't get like a two for one. I mean, we could tap deck a 5 or a 6 next turn. It's, I mean, it's possible. Alright, let's see the smart. We're taking this, gets punished by the Triceratops. We could have gone for pump. But there, there's a good argument for double pumpkin last turn. I think developing try like pumpkin, you can get a lot of value. You kind of get more value later. Because, you know, they'll have fewer turns to use the card that it conjures your opponent. Triceratops, you get to always get more value when you're developing it early. early. Really, Triceratops, you know, developing on turns like 5, 6, it's kind of just doesn't do enough. If he just doesn't have the time to foster. So, wow. Okay. Bungie. So he gets the huge barrel. God dang it. Turns out we top deck five, but we can't even do anything. Wow. I think we just try to pummel his face now. Let's see if he can answer one of these and then we'll develop the Astricata. The photosynthesizer will make this live, otherwise it's just even draining. Got back up, good stall. We got that from Wazer. Come on, man. Uh, I could really use a, a, a photosynthesizer would be good. Honestly, we don't even have a play now. I probably should have just traded a pumpkin here. Hmm, this might be active. It would be really nice. No, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, you got me. You got me, mate. Uh, it's Astricado. See if we can do 11 more damage. Uh, Fruitcake would be the only answer, really. Teleport Chimney Sweep. That's five. I like how five and then just bullseye wins. Boto, you're a turn too late. So oh, good! Good. What would this be? I mean, tell it could be teleportation zombie. What would I be insane to actually go for the blockbuster here? I mean, what's better, my pumpkin? Which is not going face. My pumpkin's not going face. You know what? Let's photo first. Let's see what we get. If we get a one drop, then it's easy. <laughs> easy decision. Yay! Yo, oh my God! <laughs> you got that from? We got it. Where did he even get that from? He didn't Eureka. Oh, get wrecked! <laughs> Hell yeah! I think that was funny enough to put on the highlight count. <laughs> yeah, bro. Where did he even get that from, bros? Where? Where did it come from? This man's conjuring all kinds of stuff. I don't even know what's going on.
<sighs> but we got it from Haunted Pumpkin. It, so it turns out that Haunted Pumpkin ended up winning us the game by feeding him that garbage card. Hopefully the photo will give us something useful. Bruh. Uh, I'm not playing around Trapper this turn, so I'm gonna play around Laser Base and keep the sights lane open for something better. This deck is legit. This is scary. We really just have no answer. Let's see if we can get something from the photo here. Uh, I might even use this to draw a card if we don't get anything from Foda. We're definitely using it now. I wonder if I should just use this instead of Photosynthesizer. Yep. That's a pretty good tempo, you know, it reduces this, makes him not conjure. We happen to top deck Pumpkin. Should the Pumpkin go here? Pumpkin should probably go face. I'm gonna photo first, just to see what we get. By the time we're drawing from the photo, should we get a 5 drop? And then we're drawing the card at the beginning of the turn, we should get something to play here. Unfortunately, we're kind of bricked with 5 drops. Really did not want a 5 from that photosynthesizer. Come on, man. The cool news is, is that we actually got something. This will turn into a 3-3. Three, three. We have an answer to the... Um, to the ducky, as long as our 2 3 lives. Ugh, this hand sucks. Legit sucks. There's that. I'm probably just gonna go after the aerobics here. I hate that we're feeding him all these cards. I, I, this is also gonna... <laughs> the aerobics is gonna kill us, and we're not gonna be able to deal with it for a while. I like to just be able to body gourd next turn and stabilize. All these cards cost one less though. Did he this open for me? He's getting because the, the space time makes these conjures. It makes it cost less. It's probably body gourd. It'll block the space time, give us a superpower, which again we have walnut in there and stuff still. Uh strengthening this would be good. It'll, it'll actually, if he gets strength, oh my gosh, if he gets strength there, we like, we lose the game because we can't even play a card next turn. Oh, <laughs> dodge the bullet. Uh, I love how this is, we're winning this trade here. Heck yeah. What is with the gizzard lizards? This is a little... Where did this where did this guy come from? Come on, man. Bruh. So now what? And this is gonna be an aerobics. Ugh. We'll probably just get more value from the body gourd next turn anyway. We also could just be going phase here, man. I wonder if healing or phase is better. Gizzard Lizard is the biggest issue with using Haunted Pumpkin. I know, right? That happens to me all the time. It never happens to me. This is the first and second time we've gone wrecked using Haunted Pumpkin from Gizzard Lizard. I don't ever remember. I mean, maybe it happened. I've been streaming for a bunch of years using a lot of decks with Haunted Pumpkin. Man! The Gizzard Lizards are killing us. No! 
No, that's why you Allosaurus there. Duh, well, it gets rid of the string. I think it's fine. It blocked a lot of damage. Blocked the three. Love to see it. Um... Look at this guy there. Keep her health total up. What is the deal? Uh, probably, like... They only have five now. Oh, man. Just wondering if I should have Allosaurus and mm, gone that late game. What is the play here? We're playing one of our five drops. So Allo would probably go here. Probably just Allo. Damn, this guy. It means we can, like, do things with blocking and stuff next turn. I guess it's like this. Fry face reveal when. <laughs> Here, here's my face reveal, guys. Here, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> nailed it! I nailed the face reveal. Damn, so we fruitcake that. Ugh. <laughs> you guys can clip that. Take to the bank. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> the sad day for every single Jew. Literally every Jew. Very sad. I don't know. Three and five kills us. Oh no, my son. I think we're gonna lose this game, man. What's the deal? What is the play? I mean, there's ways of surviving, but how are we gonna win is the real question. Two and three. Okay, so we could do this play. This has got to be right. I'm gonna do this to heal. Now, 2 3, the 5 gets blocked. And Fruitcake. I don't know. Well, Fruitcake doesn't make it go face. Don't roll 3? Should be good. Okay, well, he just rolled all 1. So. <laughs> Ah, uh, six and one. Definitely not fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, I should have kept the Allosaurus since we're ramping. In fact, I should have kept the Allosaurus there, whoops, because if this lives, we'll basically have five sun on turn three. Let's see if I can get another five drop, I'd love it. For Barmy nuts? If he passes, look at that. Uh, this is actually better than forget me nuts here. All of his gravestones cost two. So we will do it like this. It was the gizzard lizard that got that got us though, right? Yeah. Otherwise, that was the gizzard lizard. Game. So unfortunately, I didn't keep the Allosaurus. I didn't think it through. Really didn't think it through. Um. Pumpkin to face isn't very good here. I think I'm gonna do it like this. I hate how we're feeding him a card. Like, 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 like. 
Wow. Wow. Please stop. Gosh. But the unlife lives now. <laughs> he gets a rat. It's so great. Ugh. God damn. This game isn't going great. A little bit of ramp, but uh, who knows? The photo might go a long way here. Oh, that dice. Cause I like it like that. So I think this is the play. We're gonna protect um this one. Just to play around Bungie, this is really the threat. Oh, that's a great apple saucer. It's a fine apple saucer indeed. It'll just be like dry cop cannon. And one damage procs the block. That's pretty good. Bonus, no! Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I feel like we're still more in the game. Oh man, the card advantage though. This is really good that we have a bunch of late game cards. Honestly, if I would have kept the Elosaurus, it would be fine. Uh, we are ramping Pumpkin here. Yes, that's eyes to the to the cop cannon. I think I'm gonna cop in too. I wish I could cop here, but this also wins the trade against this if he doesn't spell another minion, so it's worth it. Hell yeah. Man's got teleport. So that's such a huge uh not only is the conjure a card, oh my gosh. But it, it, we, we we this even trades now. Yeah. We just got a top deck, you know, five drop after five drop, and we'll be okay, I guess. I suppose. Really just want a big card. Watch well, us get the small card now, you know, we get bodyguard when we don't need it, when it's not playable. And now. Let's see what happens here. I love how he's feeding us cards, though. This is such garbage! Okay, well, this is hopefully gonna be a fine play if we can top deck something. Come on, man. Uh, I guess here. Should I develop you? I mean, if he has like a Trapper here, but let's if we get a couple of cards in. I think using this later to block something will probably be more useful than just spamming it. We're not going to be able to use the extra sun anyway. It's okay. He's actually giving us two cards, so the likelihood, and we're also blocking. So the likelihood of getting something, I, I can even, we're ramping still, I can even use this if we don't get a, uh... Uh, a viable card here. There's Astricado. Love it! So it's double Astricado. We'll draw a Triceratops. I'm pretty sure this is a good turn to use this, just for a card. It'll give us another card for next turn, also buffs this. Also prevents Trickster from killing us, I guess. That's hefty though, 10 damage, man. What, he didn't have anything for turn 7? He must be going for just Mustache, Trickster, or Valk, and he'll just win. He didn't want to spend anything. I hope not. I would love to win this game, man. Cards. How did he pass turn 7? What is this guy doing? I'm so confused right now. I mean, it's gotta be Astrocado. I'd love to be able to play Forget Me Nuts. Uh, the easier one to kill. They'll have to deal with lane one, right? I guess we do this here. Alright. But we have three lanes of lethal right now. I don't know what happened on turn 7. How did he not have any cards to play? 
<laughs> got another Eureka. It's looking for a miracle now. Looks like we got this guy. I yeah, know I should. I, I I didn't really think the fact if you have two. It's, that's an experience with this deck, you know. If you have two primal sunflowers, you keep a five drop because that you know in a photosynthesizer. It's actually another cool thing the deck can do. You go primal on one, primal photosynthesizer and whatever on two, and then you can Allosaurus on turn three. Ridiculous. Sixty-four percent of you voted yes for this day. So here's a twin. Man, hard getting rid of Blockbuster. We have to really get a one drop though. This is cool. Should I keep the aloe? We'll have options on turn two. I either ditch both of these. I'll keep options. Player on trap roll. I know, maybe that guy misclicked. Just past turn seven. So we'll see. I like the fact we have adaptive plays here. If he goes for like Swashbuckler, we'll definitely go Twin Sunflower. Should we play around second Bungie Plumber though? Or a Smoke Bomb? I don't think so. Don't think so. Oh boy, fitty fitty, fitty fitty. This is the whole game right here, man. Oh, we're so done. This is rough. Oh, come on, man. I'm gonna have to play pumpkin defensively now. I like the fact we have Allosaurus to sort of solve some of the problems here. To save the middle lanes, we have like, you know, cop cannons and stuff and the like it. That's okay. It's a 4 1, so it's a threat. You know, you can't really play anything here that makes a good trade against the pumpkin usually on turn 4. This Pogo does. Can we get something playable? That's fine. Egg? Egg? No! Wow! Wee! Bro! Where did this came from? Pumpkin! It's own demise. Built in demise. Uh, I guess this is the turn that we play this. We'll see what we get, man. Sheesh. Uh, Twingo's here. I wonder if I'm photo. I, we can photo next turn. It'll also heal a bunch and stuff. Please don't get something with like, oh my god, oh, well, oh that's good for us, yeah. <laughs> it's a great barrel. <laughs> Thanks, barrel. Clank, 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 boom. <laughs> we also heal all this back up with the Allosaurus photo play. The ramp actually doing something here. Developing it late. One more photo. We'll just get photo from photo, guys. Everything's gonna be fine. Flamenco for four. That's a really, really slow play, though, man. So it's gonna be, we keep the bubble. That's actually playable. And now the play is gonna be... Bubble. Has... Five attack. Allosaurus. Can we photosynthesize? It doesn't really matter, right? Uh, this gets beyond free kick, right? Hell yeah. Yeah, that should be enough health to to finish this game off. Oh, they actually did the full length of six. I have a life being dancing so. Three. It's just not a lot of damage uh, because we have the the aloe. 
Dude, actually, a one-drop dancing zombie plus a flamenco would actually win on the spot here. So maybe I, uh... Should have dealt with that. Developing pumpkin right now is not great. Because it's just giving it more cards. On the other hand, it does kill this. Alright, let's develop it. Where should this twin sunflower go? Doesn't really matter. Conga. God damn. Where would that even hit, though? Not a lot of good targets. Go face. I like how his field dies here. Every f final mission to face? Uh, 4 plus 3, that was a good play, but he didn't get it done. Uh, to be automatically blocked. Play, bro. Hold on to that. <laughs> it grows this, and then we heal everything on the board towards. <laughs> the good YOLO, though. That guy almost had us with the aggro. Allosaurus really kept us in the game, man. Alright, guys. So that's 8 and 1. We'll play one more game. That made it 8, right? I feel like I just skip, skip seven. It was seven and one. Now it's eight and one. So the answer is yes. Play one more game as promised. So here's one, two, five. I think this is a fine hint. I love how we get bubble to protect those for an extra turn too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. We really need this hand really needs to ramp. I like how we have blockbuster too. It's, it's gonna come to play. Hell yeah. The answer is yes. So this is very likely just gonna be a swashbuckler zombie. I think we'll let this and, and deal with the next turn. So this is going to go against the swash, and this will go... This will go right here. Bubble is... I mean, but Primal Sunflower on one, Bubble, and a two-drop on two it seems to be really effective. So he does have a 4-3 Bullseye. Um, Would love the twin. Now, if he has a flame phase, I'll go lane three. Oh, we have Cobb Cannon, though. We actually have Cobb because we have two ramp cards. I wonder if we just go Cobb. The, the, it, it, this dies for free. Yeah, this is fine. A fine Cobb. Trading our two drop for this huge beast, and then we make a really good trade against the flame phase. Hell yeah. Uh, I like how these two cards are together. That's why I was developing them together, because the Blockbuster will be more likely to cover the worst card and protect the better one. We also have... Oh, we have so many plays. I'll probably... The, 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 he's not going to be running a ton of tricks, so the Primal Sunflower is going to be better than a Forget-Me-Nuts. I could just Blockbuster here, and it's a lot of damage. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's a po probably a Pogo. You know, he very likely has a Mug coming up. We could get more value. Pogo will block. Uh, th this just puts him in such a difficult situation in this game right now, if it's Pogo. Flame face, fine. We're still, we're doing nine and then usually propping the block. Which will just set up Astrocado for just the absolute, absolute wrecking this guy. Uh, one in five, I think, would be best case scenario. Such luck. Another blockbuster! <laughs> oh, GG, bro. He's going aggro now. It's not gonna work. So here's a three drop at best. I think we'll have, uh, Astrocada will be better here. It also gets rid of this damage coming in and stuff. But, uh, 
Okay, so he steals block meter. But the blockbuster will be fine next turn. With the wind. That doesn't do anything. That's the one that does. Why not do it to the monkey pirate and steal more? I don't know. Well, he can't really steal block meter. But that didn't do anything. His strike through move. It also just makes this next blockbuster coming up better. <laughs> yeah, it makes it so much better. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, guys, it's happening. It's happening. I'm so excited. Blockbuster in two, guaranteed. Believe you me, we blockbusted in two. <laughs> Cowboy? Bruh. Um. God damn it. <laughs> I'll use photo and see what we get anyway. He can't do anything about the five. The five damage here. We got him. And he already used the only card, which is Infinity Clones. The only block card that could deal with the two ones. Definitely. Yes, guys. I mean, this is seriously, seriously one of the absolute best decks in the game. And I wonder if even tweaking the deck and fixing, we didn't do any, we didn't, obviously, you know, the deck was dominating so hard. We're probably running a really unoptimized version. But the Primal Sunflowers, man. I wonder if you even just ditch Pumpkin, you can go back to Galactic Hex. There's so many things you can do with this deck. But the Primal Sunflowers with the Photosynthesizers were just... It was so good. And then Forget Me Nuts with Twin Sunflower, too. This deck really came together. Of course this is going on YouTube, 100%. This is really one of the best decks we've done in a really, really long time. And we actually combined, again, two of our favorite thing, powerful strats, Guardian Package in particular, but then sort of making a little bit of Ramp Package, too. It's not really Ramp Package, it's not running any, uh, any, um... Sunny or Shroom, which is usually what we run with Ram Package, but this was absolute legit deck. Hope you guys enjoyed. Amazing, amazing. I will see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry. <laughs> Gotta get the dream face in. <laughs> okay.